bottle and, and knock him out. I can't remember how to get from A to B. <coughs> Some stuck in my throat. No, it's the bees. Sea bees. This is where I didn't even, I had never heard of actual sea bees before. And someone made that. I talked about the, how they could be these bees down there. And they're like, oh, like sea bees. And I was like, where, where are sea bees? Yeah, they were they were a, na a navy thing. Yeah. And wait, does that come from the letter CB? Like something? I don't know. Like construction brigade I, or something? Yeah, I good luck. Like, like Jeep comes from general pers general yeah. Uh, personnel vehicle. Yeah. Could so, be. and this bee is called Terry because of the character from On the Waterfront. Marlon Brando's mm -hmm. character named Terry. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where we got all that stuff. That's Raphael Sparge, who, um, he was actually the, uh, the main character in Knights of the Old Republic, okay. um, in the original game, but uh, Raphael He's a big on-camera guy. Yeah, hadn't really done a lot of voiceover, and there's a scene later on where he's addressing um, all of the workers. And the thing about Raphael was that <coughs> he physically performs when he's in the studio. Oh, right. So as he was addressing the field, he kept on going off mic, and so the engineer's like, "Oh, we got to keep him on mic." And so I said, "You know, I said, hey, Raphael, you know, can you stay on mic." He's like, "Oh, really sorry, really sorry." We re-rolled, and all of a sudden his energy just went. Oh, interesting. Down, and so it, was, it just wasn't working the same way. So yeah. we pulled out another two mics and put them out. Oh, so that's that, great. So that he could then go, you know, you are the fat cats of industry, and he could kind of move his head, and we yeah. still caught it. And so then we just cut around um, the three tracks to get the, oh, the final take. Oh, that's so crazy. Yeah. He, yeah, he's a great actor. Learning so much. Right now. Cold one, huh, Terry? Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers, all laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, Manny? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Why don't you just pay the union off then? We got our pride, Manny. We're straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem where, uh, uh the solution it makes the problem, uh, worse. Like a catch-22? Yeah, wow. I wish I knew words like that. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. You bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. I think you're just a bunch of complainers. You don't know what it's like, man. Every day we come down here, we try and make an honest living. We find out that you gotta be a crooked bee to win down here. He knocks the pollen out of you, man. He makes you weak. Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, man. I, I told you. If the cops own the union and gambling's in bed with the cops. Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Max Amino is really the big boy in town, obviously. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. Hey, can I borrow one of your union cards? What, are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? 
You guys know a seaman, Naranja? Nah, CBs and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. You bees gotta be strong. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees. They do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... <laughs> I mean, we <laughs> should... Ah! Forget it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out-of-work bee. The workers should control the means of production. I think is what he's trying to say. It's locked. It's locked. Okay, back to the club. I also got to figure out how I get to this, uh... thing, what does it say? Okay, Max. Oops. Got to figure out how to get there. I know Gladys goes there somehow. Oh, this is the elevator, right? Where the hell am I? Oh, there I am. Okay. Oh. So Tim created a character, which I very much appreciate. I love her. Her name is Lupe, and she happens to be a little bit based on me and my idiosyncrasies. <laughs> and so when he, I remember one time we were hanging out, and he told me, he's like, see, how can you tell me that I don't understand our relationship? Like, I can write about it. And I was like, what are you talking about? And he said, see, she's super organized. Nobody listens to her. But she has a lot of really important things to say. <laughs> and see, she, we need her. And that's what you realized. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I love you. <laughs> and she does karate kicks. That was the best, like, because I like to punch people. And so if you notice, sometimes, I don't know if they have it in here, but she, uh, she punches That's in the awesome. air. She does air punches. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. She was really easy to cast because I had such a great frame of reference for her. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My ward, he's been sending me messages like this for the last year. Agent Calavera, I have <laughs> word that you arrived in Rubacaba safely. This is great news as your service to the LSA may now continue. I am pleased to report the successful hatching of the eggs you liberated. The hatchlings, which Eva has named Manny and Meche, are quite healthy and eager to serve our cause. With luck, my next letter will be born to you across the sky by these young gossamer wings of truth. For the revolution, Salvador Limones. I'm not done reading it yet, but maybe later. Hmm, I think I need to give it to those communist guys. Just made me uh, jog my memory. Let's see if there's a way back here that I missed. Oh, I missed a commentary. Somehow. Le numéro gagnant, le 33, noir, en clair et I just want to have a really international player. I guess because um, Casablanca was very international. Manny's music, the Mesdames Casino Messieurs, Calendar music, is, uh, please, that was a big moment for me doing the score because it was done fairly early on and it kind of uh, it, it determined a lot of other stuff, just sort of stylistically. Mm -hmm. Get no that more sort of bets, Gene Krupa please. thing going on in the beginning. Gene <laughs> Krupa. Yeah, one of the great drummers of all time.
check out this fancy pass to the High Rollers Lounge. Can you believe how full of themselves they are over there? I don't think their place is any more VIP than ours, do you? I don't know. I, I try to stay away from th that place. Really? Why? Because of my, my, my problem. Gladys? No. Compadre? There we go. So now I think I've got everything from here. Maddie! Oh. I have a note for you from Lola. Lola? Yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang. I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me hear. No, no, wait. Ah, be quiet. Here it is. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes! But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system! Evening, Lupe. Hi, Manny. Okay, back to work. Okay! Hmm. And this poor guy is still passed out. Calavera, it is indeed a great day for the revolution. Say hola to little Manny, the first enlisted messenger to serve the LSA. Please feed him some breadcrumbs and send him back quickly, so we may know that our maiden flight was a success. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you, Manuel Calavera? A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. Would you cats mind if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Yes, good. Well, Labor organization and revolt made easy. Chapter one. The workers shall control the means of production. There you Ooh. go. Better not show that to Gladys. Can't remember what I do with it. Uh, let's try and find our way up to that VIP club. Closing in. And a loose 
Rebel for Kebel. Standing up. Rebel for Kebel. Coming up on the finish. How big were those when you drew them? Like the posters Rebel and the murals and stuff. We, we could actually work rather big. Did you have Photoshop back then? And we had Photoshop, but you... I don't know if we had layers back then. Or, or oh, we had layers. I think we did. Oh, yeah, we had layers, but maybe Paul only. Paul just didn't know what they were. <laughs> no, I, uh, but but I think too, you only had a, a one undo or maybe two undos. Oh wow. Siamese Express knows the trouble. Oh, for crying out loud! Yeah. Oh wait, you cookie booster. Aha, uh -huh. that's what I need. Looks like a turkey baster. It's empty. Punch it, buddy! Well, I remember speaking of VO. I know, I remember you casting this, and then I remember you vanishing. Yeah. And you were gone for so long recording was, this. Yeah, I was down and actually, actually, it was the only one time we rented in an apartment rather than staying at a yeah. hotel because I, I was down in LA recording uh, this for six weeks, and then I was bookended on either side with two weeks for two Lucas learning projects. Yeah. And so it was, it was. Uh, yeah, you just moved away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a long time. Nick Virago, what are you doing working in the High Roller Lounge? I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. I do, but they don't serve drinks there. Got a little lipstick on you, lover boy. Sorry about that, we had, uh, Ran out of space in our hard drive, and which is weird because I was like, "Oh, I better make sure to remember to check that before I start recording," and then forgot, <laughs> forgot to check it. But uh, all you missed is you dropped the key, and then I fired him a bit as telling him how great he is. What does it matter as long as they're excellent? It matters if the guy you're up against has got the best. Then I guess I'll need the best. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? You are, Nick. That's right. And that's why Maximino retains me on an exclusive basis. So, sorry, but I don't do odd jobs. Nah, he'd see me do it. Case, because it's got a key in it. How's tricks, Nick? Yeah. Virago, I really need a lawyer. Well, my dance card is full. So what are you gonna do? Feeds me from the space. I could tell Max about you and Olivia. That sort of claim could send a man like Max into quite a rage, especially if the messenger had no proof. Max and I are friends. He'll believe me. People believe what they want to believe, Calavera. And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. I've got to talk to Max for a moment. When I get back, I hope you're gone, because I'm sick of looking at you. Yeah, what a dick. Man, this is gonna get me in trouble. There's something rattling inside. Must be in a hidden compartment somewhere, but I don't see a latch or anything. Oh, I remember how to get it open. I remember very, very well. 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 Pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad, pretty bad. Get that mouth. How do I get that mouth? Up. I don't think it would be a good idea to barge into Max's office while he's meeting with Nick. Oh, there we go. Get in there, Manny. Come on. Oh, no, that's the way up. That's the sugar papa light! Yeah! There we go. You 
got it! Get up, you stupid cat! Wait, why did Cataglottis leave the Get piano playing here, thing when he come down here? Cat. Oh, you got him the pass. You gave him a pass. Right. So you, now he's a high roller. And he's an alcoholic run, and a gambler run, because of you. Right. But it's all for good cause. Yeah. Adventure game playing. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the only... You got it! Wait. No. Nope, no Who's okay. this? I had no idea you like gambling so much, Gladys. Well, the doctors made me promise I wouldn't do it anymore. But they can't get in the high rollers loud, Doc, can they? That's the sugar bubble light! Coming home soon? I'm visualizing. <laughs> Get that mouse. Go, kitty. Almost there. Yeah. I mean, it's now time to get that key. Oops, sorry. What's that? I don't know. I found it under your desk. Unattended? No, there was a shifty looking guy with crazy eyes who put it there. Oh my god. Give me that! Hmm. It's a bomb! Another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. But here's something. A key? Yes. I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, you can analyze it with your metal detector. Oh, come on, get over it. Man, you run, you bastard. Looks like a turkey baster. <laughs> oh, wait, I think I give the socialist book to the bees. Because they're talking about like the big speech he gave, and I'm like, I don't remember him giving a big speech. But he needs something to get him going. I think these are the words you're looking for. 
The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploiting working class? I say we fight back! Hmm, what's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Logan, that's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. Why? Right, what did that accomplish now? I am not sure. So, what are you guys doing to free Terry? Hmm, guess it's up to me. so slowly all of a sudden. Oh, I think he needs time to walk onto the screen. Oh, crap. See me do it. What? Nah, he'd see me do it. What's that you're working on there? I told you, Calavera, not now. He's not even looking at me. He wouldn't see me do it. Me and Shag fight alone. Me and them from your bell to fight. You push me to edge, Calavera. Well, clearly I'm still missing something, but uh, it seems like for now I'm out of steam. Finally exhausted my options because I'm a little bit stuck in where to go. But I have to uh, end this let's play for now anyway, so it works out perfectly. So with that, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you join us next time for the next uh, parts of Grim Fandango. Hopefully be able to, to wrap up here in Rubicabra and move on to greener pastures. So... Until that time, uh, well, I think, did I already thank you guys for watching? Sorry, I'm apparently getting, tripping over myself today. So anyway, until next time, you guys.